We need to remember also that the screw fly lesions don't necessarily have to be large and dramatic such as you often see in, in photographs that they can in fact and frequently are manifest as small weeping sores which may be very easily overlooked or dismissed as something else. Any deep fly strike lesions you come across in a living animal should be suspect. The screw worm fly maggot burrows deep. Collect about ten but remove as many as possible. The larvae should be dropped into hot water for one to two minutes to preserve colour and shape, then stored in 80% alcohol. If you can't do this, put the larvae directly into alcohol or methylated spirits. Dead flies can be packaged unpreserved. Send the samples to the nearest government vet or stock inspector. In endemic areas of the world where screwworm exists, every husbandry practice associated with, the, um, with wounds, including um, castration and dehorning, must be accompanied by a regular inspection of those wounds to make sure that the fly does not become established. If the fly got into Australia, we would have to do a similar, um, highly expensive procedures associated with surveillance of our stock. So it's likely that over much of the northern properties, um, the maintenance of stock may well become um, in, not commercially viable. So there'll be large-scale changes in the, the structure of communities in northern Australia if this screw worm fly got in, including sort of severe upsets of the human population. But more than that, there's also the other effects on the um, native mammals of Australia. Um, many of those are going to suffer um, severe problems because they're naive to this... this um, Organism. The screw worm fly doesn't necessarily kill an animal. It can be treated, usually by an application of larvicides. Each individual animal, particularly the newborn, must be treated and watched every day. There's one way to eradicate the screw worm fly. You build a factory and produce sterile male flies by the millions. This is a factory in Mexico. The larvae are bred and grown to the pupil stage. Then they are irradiated, exposed to gamma radiation, which renders them sterile. The female screw worm fly only mates once, and if the population is swamped with these sterile males, then the chance of fertile eggs being laid is reduced. This method has eradicated the fly from the southern United States and Mexico, some Caribbean islands, and most recently Libya. It works brilliantly and costs a fortune. The only place where you will see screwworm fly, if it should get into Australia, will be in a wound of a warm-blooded live animal. Not in any other situation, not in dung, not in fruit, not even in decomposing carcasses of animals. It is only found in living warm-blooded animals. So we're not only looking for screwworm fly in livestock, but we also should be aware that we could find it in pet animals and also, of course, ourselves, humans. If you see the, the, these lesions, this cavernous lesion with a, 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 a pungent, sickly sweet smell and a, a persistent discharge, you should be thinking screwworm fly myosis or screwworm fly strike.